Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. And today we got the performance review on these bad boys right here. This, my friends, is the Puma RS Dreamer. <music> So these guys right here are really interesting because it does not look like this is going to perform well, but it was freaking awesome. And this is on every court I took them on, including outdoors. There is some minor fraying, but again, we're outside, so it's to be expected. If you don't have fraying on your traction, that means that you've got some really good rubber. But these things right here are made after a feather, not a leaf. And the pattern itself just looks like it would not be great, especially like these kind of like jab steppy moment, uh, movements where you go in line with the pattern itself. Those are the ones that I thought were gonna be real sketchy, but I had no issues with these things. So what ended up making these as good as they are was not the pattern itself, because as you can see, it's not like conducive to what you would feel like is like typical basketball movements, but it was the rubber compound. So that's pretty much half the battle. If you got some solid rubber compound right there underneath your foot, even with a trashy looking or suspect looking traction pattern, you should get some pretty good grip. Now the material setup here primarily is what you'd expect from a modern shoe, which is all textile, everything. However, these are a signature shoe, even though they're not a signature shoe for an NBA athlete. And what they actually added on here was some premium touches. So we have some suede's on there, which I absolutely love. Then we also have some reflective hits just for fun. And I just really like this setup. I feel like that this gives you modern performance with some premium touches. And for the price, you know, this is what I expect out of any signature shoe, whether it's a rapper signature shoe or a basketball player signature shoe. And lucky for J. Cole, that fool was a hooper. So this works perfectly fine. Now the one main issue with these is pretty much my only issue, and that is the cushion. So what we have here is Puma's Pro Foam. We have this in multiple other models. Some of it has like a thicker midsole, some of it's a thinner midsole. And even though these are a little bit on the beefy side, they're not as thick as they look. So you do sit in that midsole quite a bit that adds to the support. But again, the cushion, just isn't there. I wish that Puma had something a little bit better, something a little bit more like bounce that had a little bit more rebound to it. Cause as of right now, this is just kind of like a dead feeling shoe. Uh, next. So with a setup like this, while you're not getting maximum cushion or anything like that, at least you're getting maximum court feel. That's not in, Ooh. which ends up meaning that you have no lag time. So if you do want any, you know, quick movements, step backs, all that stuff, you're going to be good to go. Do that one more time, one more time, because I can't, I can't do that off of a miss. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Now the overall fit I think is great. They fit true to size. My only complaint is that the textile loosens up just a little bit, so throughout gameplay, I have to go and you know, retighten everything so you can see how much slack is there already. And this is just, this is a brand new colorway. I've been playing in the other ones. And this is my first time with these on court. So already, this is what I'm kind of talking about where you want to go back and and readjust your laces for a more snug fit. Other than that though, they fit true to size. My toe is right there at the edge. It feels great. I get all the lockdown that I could ever want. Uh, I have really no complaints. So the only other thing that I could say is be careful with no-shows. If you are a no-show hooper, this uh, textile that they use this pattern inside there will cut up your ankles pretty good. I know this from experience. So the support really relies on the fit, but you can see with certain material placements or panel placements that that's where you know most of that draw is gonna be coming from. So these sections right here really focus on lockdown in that forefoot area. This guy right there is kind of interesting because it wraps all the way around the shoe, but it's still primarily just this spot. And then the rest of everything just kind of draws your heel into the heel counter. The heel counter is real interesting because there really isn't one. It's all this foam. So you sit really way down in here and you kind of go on that top line there. So again, you're getting lots of court feel and the tooling itself promotes the stability, the overall lockdown and ensuring that you don't slide over the footbed. So that pretty much takes care of it for the performance review on the Puma RS Dreamer. Honestly, it's not much different than previous Puma offerings. The only thing is that these look a little bit better and these are J. Cole's shoes. So if that's your thing, then go ahead and grab these. I personally still like the hardwood. That's what she said. <laughs> 
So again, you're not getting much difference as far as performance goes from model to model, which is unfortunate, but as soon as they're able to implement some sort of new cushioning system, that's when these things are really gonna shine because these designs I think are fantastic. So again, that pretty much takes care of for the performance review on these guys right here. I do really like the shoe. I just don't think that, that they're an elite performer, mainly because of the cushion. But if you wanted any other information, there's gonna be a link in the description box below. It'll head you over to weartesters.com where you can check out their price, their weight, their scores. And with that being said, I hope that you guys have a great day. So until next time, guys. Have a good one. So I don't want to say it to you, but you've been like giving Puma a lot of praise for their design language lately. And I've noticed that the majority of the sneaker people that I see as well are really in love with like every single colorway of these that are coming out. Just the shoe overall in general. That might just be because they're J. Coles. You think so? He's got a good following. That's the, the whole purpose of signing someone like, because like when people are like, J. Cole, but he's a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. Even though he's a hooper, but like he's not a professional hooper. Mm -hmm. He probably could have been if he wanted to be, but for whatever reason, he chose a different path. But yeah, it's one of those things where like a hooper is going to see this and be like, J. Cole? Got a, it's the same thing like if I see like the Yeezy basketball shoe, like Yeezy got a basketball shoe, you know what I mean? Like if Drake came out with a performance basketball shoe, it's one thing to get like a colorway after you, but like if you come out with like a, this is the Air Drake, I'd be like, the what? You know I what I mean? I feel like he would come out, not that he's the the mind behind the, how you sell it or market it, but I feel like Drake would have a really funny, I don't like, know. great promo for it. I like that guy. Because the dude is hilarious. Yeah. Whatever his new, I don't remember the song name, but like the newest one where he's crying and that sh He's at the Nike clearance store. It's so f funny, man. That, <laughs> that, you got to see the video. I mean, everybody, it was trending, so everybody has seen the video, but it was mad funny. But we do have a giveaway because we have a Discord community, uh, the Wear Testers Discord community. If you were interested in checking out what that means, there's going to be a, an additional link in the description box below. It'll send you over to weartesters.com where you can read all about it. And every month we do a giveaway for our gold members. Well, it's actually a gold team, but we have blue team and, and gold team. It's an X-Men reference for those of you guys that are a fan of the Jim Lee era. I got lots of stuff that, you know, we give away. It's always in their size. It's not something that was bought for me to review. It'll be something that is bought for you, for you, just for you. Confused yet? Cool. You guys already know from the box what they are, but it's these bad boys right here, man. I was gonna mention this in this video, I still probably will, but I had said that this was probably the, the best looking sneaker of 2020, and I totally forgot about these, man. These two, I don't even know which one to pick. That's how pretty they both are. It's wild. You don't like it, you don't, you know, she know. She, we didn't ask her, so, uh, so anyways, we're gonna be giving these away to Andrew. And uh, congratulations to Andrew. We'll send these over your way as soon as we're done doing the review because uh, we were going to do it when, when they first came in, but she told me to wait. And then per usual, a whole bunch of other stuff came. And so... It's on deck, folks. It's on deck. Folks. That's what I said. I thought you said... Folks. <laughs> it is in the queue, just yes. not coming up yet. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of stuff, man. Stay tuned, because I got two of these on accident. I know that sounds weird, so make sure to go over to the video for these and really like, because I don't know if that video made its money back yet, but I got to make a lot of it back, okay? Because I got these times two plus this. It was a big cluster of stuff. So yeah, so these guys right here, uh, we'll be giving another pair of these away uh, later on, so stay tuned. I'll probably give these away in their performance review just to let you guys know. Anyways, congratulations to Andrew. Whenever you get these, I hope that you enjoy them. We'll get you these as soon as possible though. Don't, don't like be like, oh man, I'm gonna have to, no. I'll, nah, I'll they'll get be this. out yeah. within the week or I'll, so. I'll, I'll review this. I'll, I'll just sit here for a day and just film just for you so you can get these as soon as possible because these are dope. I want you to be team early. Yeah, thank you everybody that's part of our Wear Testers Discord community. You are the reason why we're able to do stuff like this. So big thank you to you guys. Big thank you to everybody that watches our videos that's not part of the Discord community because you guys also really are a huge part of everything your review goes a long way your like like the actual button the like button goes a huge according to youtube algorithm same thing with everybody that actually leaves a comment because i know that a lot of people don't but when you do for whatever reason that's that type of engagement is what triggers youtube to share the video and promote it so everybody that does a little bit of everything we really appreciate it you guys really help this channel out quite a bit maybe one day we will reach that one mil that you guys keep talking about in the comment section because i don't think that's possible you never know man one day weirder things have happened so i'll never count it out but thank you once again i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and until next time guys have a good one that sounds scary I take the risk for superpowers. I'll be like, all right. And if the worst that can happen is you get a giant, c hey, <laughs> why not? Sounds like a win-win to me. That shit's funny, dude. Okay.